Hey class, and welcome to the my new microphone and adding four digit numbers. So why? Well, we will add four no large, larger f numbers for our whole lives, like four digit numbers, and the strategies will help us with adding decimals as well, and that's coming up. So first off, we're actually going to backtrack a little bit. We're going to go back to basics. And what I mean by that is we're actually going to add two one digit numbers like 9 plus 3 and just show how we actually do it to understand a little bit about how regrouping works. So I'm going to throw in uh, an empty uh, rod that represents a group of 10 and another one here that represents a group of 10 and they're empty. And I'm going to put in a little chart for me to follow so I can help explain a little bit easier. And we know our place values now so this will really be helpful here. And there we go, we have tens and ones. So when we're actually doing 9 plus 3, we actually have 9 groups of 1 plus 3 groups of 1, right? 9 plus 3. We don't have any groups of 10, right? 9 plus 3. So when we're doing it, we actually, this is a group of 10, right? A rod. So we actually have 9 groups of 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And we're going to add 3 more. So I could go 1, 2, 3, but let's just say I had 3 blocks empty by themselves, and so I didn't add them to this rod yet. I could actually take one of those blocks away and actually put it in that rod. So I'm regrouping. I'm taking one from here and adding it to that one. So now we can see we have one group of 10 and two blocks left over, right? So if we have one group of 10, which is one rod, plus two little cubes left over, we actually have 12, right? 10 plus 2 is 12. So 9 plus 3 is one group of 10 that we have right there, plus two ones. We have one group of 10 left over, and we have nothing more to add, so it's just 12. So 9 plus 3 equals 12. So let's actually add a larger digit number, like uh, 915 plus 3,476. And I'm going to throw three strategies that I want you to follow in here. Strategy one is write the larger number at the top. Strategy two, line up your place values. And th strategy three is check by subtracting. So I like to pull this chart in here um, just to help me organize my numbers. So I'm going to start off by writing the larger number at the top. And oh, it's not 915, it's actually 3,000. So 3,400 and 76 plus 915. Don't write the 9 here because it's not 9,000. We have no thousands actually. 915. So I'm going to add these two numbers now. So 6 plus 5 is actually 11. 11 is one group of 10 and one group of 1. So 1, 1 is 11. Now I have a group of 10 that I have to add. So one group plus seven equals eight plus one is nine. Four groups of a hundred plus nine groups of a hundred. Four plus nine is thirteen. So that means I have one, three. Thirteen groups of a hundred. One, three. One plus three equals four. So my answer is four thousand three hundred and ninety-one. So I wrote the larger number at the top. I lined up my place values, and now I'm just going to check by subtracting. So I'm going to check by taking this sum right here, 4,000, 4,391, and I'm going to subtract this, one of my add-ins, 915, 915. Remember, there's no thousands. So if I subtract it, and we'll get into subtracting later, it's 6, 8 subtract 1 is 7, 3 subtract 9, I can't do it, I have to borrow. 13 subtract 9 is 4, and 3 subtract 0 is 3. And lo and behold, if we take a look, my answer is 3,476, which matches the first number that I was adding. So since these are equal, it is correct. And we are all really happy, because we are smart in math. 